it's happening guys Mata Martin is back again you know what we are so let's get into it so guys I've had only what maybe two or three days off from putting up videos is what it is just want a bit of a break but ultimately this is one of those fragrances when again I guess it doesn't really depend it will actually it doesn't really it does depend on the circumstances if you're going to wear this probably in the hot weather or cold weather i mean again i'm in the uk so for those that don't know obviously the uk climate is not necessarily the warmest even in summertime but for evenings sort of like um how could i say maybe a date night sort of fragrance and equally just something to wear in autumn or something to wear even as i say in the winter it's one of those fragrances guys that has been in my collection only for so long this is a 50 mil and you can actually get um this and the other version which is like a lighter version they call it the light side um and i mean that's slightly more citric but this one guys honestly when it comes to longevity when it comes to sillage when it comes to complexity of a fragrance i cannot believe how good this is it cost me literally only something like nine pounds for the two fragrances from sports direct guys i've done a video on this one already if you've not smelled this one um don't worry blind by it, it cost nine pounds for the two to be honest this one is worth more than some of my designer fragrances in my opinion that i have for some reason i don't know why it was so cheap it was nine um, nine pounds or so from uh, sports direct give or take on um obviously if you're doing packaging um shipping and stuff i collected this so this was before the the actual lockdown the spray on it is good even smelling this guys the note breakdown on this is crazy this 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 is a fragrance that reminds me of something that mont blanc would release charge next to nothing for and people are like wow this is a hidden gem this to me guys is probably one of the best cheap fragrances i've purchased in all time for me honestly Note breakdown on this, I have to read it off very graphic because there's so many things that are going into it. Top notes, we have grapefruit, mandarin, orange. Um, we have air notes or what they call um, um, alahides. And then we get into the mid notes, which are violet leaf. We have some rose, we have some um, uh, magnolia. And we also have this type of clove note in the, violet, in, in the mid notes. Then in the breakdown, guys, when it comes to the base notes, it comes out with this chocolate, this gourmand element, which... Again, if you imagine like a, a dark chocolate, guys, that you're about to use, maybe if you're going to use cooking, going to do some cooking, it's got some amber, it's got some cedar wood in there in the base, it's got some musk as well, it's got some um, patchouli as well in the base, and also vanilla, vanilla there, guys. This fragrance to me, again, smells, if you imagine something similar to um, uh, Givenchy Gentleman, for example, but the EDP version with that sort of patchouli note, a little bit of touch of this sort of, say, cinnamon or touch of this vanilla note going on um this is fantastic guys Versace could have come out with this one even you could even imagine if Valentino could come out with something like this one obviously different houses may do it a slightly different way um I don't necessarily even know um why this one is in this particular like this this particular um brand is released on the um, Star Wars I mean the smell of this one guys in all honesty if you've not checked it out I'm guaranteeing you 100% you can buy by this one you're not going to have any issues. I personally don't necessarily advocate for blind buying, but this is one which I would say all day long. Go and check it out, guys. Even now, the opening, guys, I mean, when I say longevity, you can easily get four to five hours on this quite easily without noticing it. The opening is nice. The opening gets more, slightly more citric. Again, it's saying it's got the alahides in there in the top notes. Slightly citric, slightly, um, how could I say, um, fresh. And then it gets into a slight sort of mid note again with these floral notes. That you can smell coming out but the keynote for me guys that stays with this when it gets to the dry down well into you know three hours or so you're still happy you can smell it it's this chocolate gourmand sort of element going on it's like a manly um fragrance it doesn't say it has any sort of leather notes or any suede in there on fragratica but i think this probably does does some why i'm picking up on there this reminds me guys of a guy who is he's just clean fresh manly scent um even like a not necessarily barbershop sort of scent but again i'm thinking along the lines of even um say Givenchy gentleman there's another one which i cannot even remember the name how to pronounce it but wow this is this is a fragrance guys and again for cheapies well under 10 pounds one of the best ones i've ever I've ever tried out guys so it's just a quick video on that one it's one to go and check out, especially if you're living in colder weather. If you've not checked this one out already, there are other um, fragrances that have been released from um, um, the Star Wars line. I don't know why I decided to look at this one. I must have seen some good reviews on it for some reason. But ultimately, guys, this one is going unchecked. 
you know, I did a review recently on the Playboy um, uh, fragrance um, the VIP, which is like a gourmand sort of fragrance. That is still a good fragrance, guys. Equally, you know, some of these fragrances, just because they're from a cheaper house or some or what, or less well-known house, maybe people think that it's not worth the money. In my opinion, guys, if you're into fragrances, this one is going to do you justice. I've not worn this out necessarily to even get compliments, but I could imagine this one even has got like a sort of tobacco note as well in there. In the base with this chocolate very gourmand in the base but at the same time it's like a dark chocolate note this isn't milk chocolate so don't expect it to be too sweet it is slightly sweet with the gourmand but again don't expect too too much sweetness it's not going to overpower your nose it's a subtle smooth rich type of fragrance when it comes to this base very good fragrance guys check it out ciao